All right, class. I wanted to post a quick video about how to navigate the course on Canvas. So here is the front page of Canvas. And like the syllabus, it has a couple of important details right in front of you. My contact information, the course date, all that good stuff. I also have the book listed here for you. They are in MLA format. So if you need a quick reminder of what books um, should look like when cited in MLA, this is it. I have a link to a free copy of the novel if you prefer. And I have a link to tutoring. On the left hand side, this is how you will navigate Canvas. Assignments are going to pop up over here on the right side. But if you're logging in for things like lecture notes, if you're looking for something specific, the left hand side is what you want to use. So the home page, assignments, discussions, grades, syllabus, and modules. Those are the links that you're going to use primarily. When we get to the argument essay, library resources will be very important as well. So let's start by clicking on modules. <laughs> I have a resources module. I have information about discussion board and email etiquette. I expect that everyone adheres to everything I've outlined here. If I hit the back button, I go back to the modules page, and I have a bunch of resources here uh, to help with cite citing material in MLA. This should be your first stop uh, when you have a question on MLA. You are, of course, also welcome to send me an email, and I'm happy to work through it with you. We have Orwell in 1984. When we start reading the novel, these will be very helpful links. Week one, introductions and getting started. We'll click here. And here I have everything listed out. Uh, this is everything you want to accomplish in week one. I know it probably looks like a lot, but we don't have that face-to-face -face time. And normally in an eight-week course, you would have six hours about of face time each week. So since we don't have that, um, <clears throat> we have to supplement that here. And I have video lectures here for you. I will also upload PowerPoint uh, PDF versions of these for you if you prefer those. The link to the syllabus, this is the first week, the discussion boards, all that good stuff. Anything that's blue and underlined is a link to um, an important assignment or document. So if we look at MLA review assignment, I'm going to open that in another tab. And it's taking a minute to load here, but here it is. And here's the rubric for the assignment. Now it hasn't opened yet because the course is locked until June 4th. So clicking on that would take me to um, the assignment and the instructions for completing that assignment. So here I'm going to go ahead and navigate um, to the syllabus page. And here's a copy of the course syllabus. If I click on this, I get a snapshot of the syllabus so you don't have to download it every single time you want to look at it. These are assignments that are coming up in the very near future. Gives you a nice list of when something is due, what the assignment is, and a link to that assignment. And here is the course calendar. We click on the calendar, it tells us right here what information is due. So, um, discussion boards. Those are over here. If you want to see if someone responded to one of your discussion posts, you can click here. These are the upcoming discussions. We look at week one, introduce yourself. It's locked because it's not quite ready, but usually uh, what will happen is you'll click on that. It will uh, give you some type of prompt or instructions for the discussion board and you will post. 
for discussion boards, they are typically going to be um, empty until you have made a post yourself. And that's to ensure that um, you aren't too worried about making your posts look like everyone else's. Everyone's post doesn't have to look exactly the same. Uh, they should represent what you're thinking and, and where you are uh, in the writing process. So if you have any questions or comments about navigating the Canvas course, feel free to send me an email and I'd be happy to help you out.